1969, a classic Hollywood actor graced the screen in a film that would stand the test of time. True Grit, a Western masterpiece, tells the tale of a determined young girl seeking justice for her father's murder. But here's the hook, stay tuned, because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this movie that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Now, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this unforgettable film? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The enduring qualities of True Grit make it an everlasting symbol of the industry. What do you think contributes to its timeless appeal? As you reminisce about this cinematic gem, we're curious to know your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film. Drop your stories and memories in the comments, we'd love to hear them. Get ready for an adventure through the Old West filled with grit, determination, and unexpected surprises. Keep watching for the scoop on those intriguing facts. Your thoughts and stories await in the comments. Let the True Grit journey begin. True Grit, the 1969 Western masterpiece, has etched its mark in the annals of cinema, leaving an enduring impact that resonates even today. The film, featuring a classic Hollywood actor, unfolds the gripping narrative of a determined young girl seeking justice for her father's murder. What sets it apart is the seamless blend of humor, shock, and poignant moments, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. The legacy lies in its portrayal of grit and determination against the backdrop of the Old West. The movie encapsulates the essence of justice, vengeance, and the unyielding spirit of its characters. It stands as a testament to the timeless appeal of well-crafted storytelling and compelling characters transcending the era in which it was created. Its impact goes beyond the initial release, influencing subsequent westerns and solidifying its place in cinematic history. The ability to capture the essence of the human condition, coupled with memorable characters and dialogues, has contributed to its lasting legacy. Today, the film remains relevant as a cinematic gem that continues to captivate new generations. Its exploration of themes such as courage, justice, and the resilience of the human spirit ensures that its relevance transcends time. The enduring qualities make it not just a classic of its era, but a narrative that continues to resonate with audiences who appreciate the art of storytelling. In conclusion, the impact and legacy are deeply rooted in the ability to tell a compelling story with relatable characters, making it a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences across generations. Despite Marguerite Roberts' left-wing politics and previous association with a blacklisted individual, John Wayne, known for his right-wing views, saw past political differences when he came across her screenplay for the 1969 Western. Despite advice against working with a blacklisted writer, Wayne found Roberts' script magnificent and expressed his hope for her to write another screenplay with him in mind. In 1968, John Wayne, who was a judge on your All-American College show, was impressed by Karen Carpenter's lively personality during her performance. Wayne wanted her for the role of Maddie in the upcoming Western. However, the film's producers opted for a more established actress, rejecting the idea of casting the relatively unknown singer. Despite Wayne's preference, the role ultimately went to a different actress. For the role of Rooster Cogburn, Wayne actively campaigned after reading the novel. His enthusiasm for the character and the story added to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of bringing true grit to life on the big screen. These intriguing facts shed light on the unique circumstances surrounding the casting and production decisions for the film. They highlight the collaborative and sometimes conflicting elements that shaped the 1969 Western, adding depth to the narrative that unfolded on screen. John Wayne, the iconic Hollywood actor, found an unexpected challenge in the casting of Maddie Ross. Disappointed by the choice of Kim Darby, Wayne and Darby shared minimal off-camera communication during the production. Wayne, initially resistant, eventually accepted the role of Rooster Cogburn, but he had reservations about donning an eye patch, a characteristic of his character. In a departure from his typical roles, Wayne acknowledged True Grit as a significant milestone, labeling it his first decent role in 20 years and an opportunity to break away from the persona of John Wayne. The film allowed him to embrace a character role, marking a shift in his acting career. These behind-the-scenes dynamics reveal Wayne's complex relationship with the production, from his disappointment in casting to his reluctance to embrace certain character elements. Despite the challenges, True Grit provided Wayne with a unique opportunity to redefine his cinematic legacy. In the making of the 1969 Western, age played a curious role. 
While the character Maddie was intended to be 14, the actress portraying her, Kim Darby, was 21 at the time of filming, having already become a mother. This divergence in age adds a layer of complexity to the portrayal of Maddie's determination and grit on screen. A noteworthy coincidence surrounds the film's release on June 11, 1969. This date would later become significant, marking exactly 10 years before the passing of John Wayne on June 11, 1979, a twist of fate that ties the movie to an unexpected but memorable milestone in the actor's life. Among the lesser-known details is the uncredited film debut of Wilford Brimley. His initial steps into the cinematic world occurred within the folds of True Grit, a fact that might surprise many given his later recognition in the industry. These subtle nuances contribute to the unique tapestry of the film's history, offering a glimpse into the intriguing intersections of age, fate, and budding talent. Each aspect, a thread woven into the fabric of True Grit story, showcasing the multifaceted nature of Hollywood's behind-the-scenes dynamics. The original novel that inspired the 1969 Western movie is narrated in the first person by Maddie, providing a unique perspective where characters like Rooster and Lebeuf take a backseat. A notable detail in the film is Rooster Cogburn's eye patch covering his left eye, mirroring the eye of John Ford, Wayne's esteemed director and friend. This choice adds a subtle connection between Wayne's portrayal and the influential director's persona. During the 1970 Academy Awards, John Wayne, upon receiving the Best Actor Award, humorously whispered to Barbara Streisand, beginner's luck. This lighthearted remark adds a touch of camaraderie to Wayne's acknowledgement of his achievement. In the casting realm, Wayne had a preference for Karen Carpenter as Maddie, but producers opted for a more established actress. Rooster Cogburn's role, however, saw Wayne actively campaigning after reading the novel, showcasing his enthusiasm for the character and the overall story. Wayne's relationship with his on-screen counterpart, Kim Darby, was strained due to his dissatisfaction with her casting. Despite initial resistance, Wayne acknowledged True Grit as a significant milestone in his career, breaking away from his traditional roles and embracing a character-driven narrative. A peculiar age dynamic unfolded during the film's production as Kim Darby, portraying the 14-year-old Maddie, was actually 21 and a mother. This age disparity added complexity to the portrayal of Maddie's determination. The film's release date, June 11, 1969, holds a twist of fate, marking exactly 10 years before John Wayne's passing on the same date in 1979. The movie also marked the uncredited film debut of Wilford Brimley, a detail often overlooked given his later prominence in the industry. These subtle nuances contribute to the unique tapestry of True Grit's history, offering glimpses into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of age, fate, and emerging talent.